Out of all the African countries, Rwanda has the greatest potential going forward. The reason for this is that it's the youth of Rwanda that shows an incredible tenacity. This youth is inspirational in their focus. They've been through a horrific past, but they're looking towards the future. The school was rather fortunate in acquiring the SolidWorks program, quite by chance actually. His Excellency Paul Kigami visited America early in 2005. He visited the company in Boston and brought back the program and asked us to, to see what we could make of it. Since that introduction, there has been a continuously expanding partnership between SolidWorks Corporation and Rwanda. Rwandan students, which is the most important thing of all, are getting a chance, a chance of a future. And it really is a case of building futures with SolidWorks. As a way forward for development for this country, as uh, stipulated in its vision plan of 2020 to have a alleviate poverty and uh, the level of illiteracy, I think uh, SolidWorks will indeed contribute to the competitiveness of our ability uh, in the field and will indeed uh, contribute to our, our development as individual and as a country. The students leaving the school will go out with knowledge of SolidWorks. They will go into factories, industry, which has no idea of this technology. This is new for Rwanda. So they will be able to talk to their managers and say there is a better way of doing this and introducing it across the country. As you know, Rwanda would like to be a, have an economy that is uh, uh, supported by knowledge uh, by 2020. And this software is part of information communication technology, is part of ICT, part of computing design. This gives you an example of how computing can change the economy of a country just by using knowledge.